hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kobe, and this is kitech digital now um in today's video we want to i want to show you how you can be able to you know use what we call um elemental visibility logic okay so um what i mean is um the last video that i created about cryptocurrency with a dashboard now i created a um, you know um a custom dashboard for the this particular website over here as you can see over here now if you haven't watched this video please go back and then you know watch it i'll leave the link in the description now you realize that we created this dashboard for it okay so um it was um a, you know a very custom dashboard that we created even though we used um woocommerce to create the website so now what we did was um, to create all this you know um tabs over here okay and then um you know replace this um this you know crypto um prices over here and then crypto you know exchange also over here now um there was a problem okay now the problem is um when you log out okay when you log out of this place you still see um some of these things over here okay but a lot of people don't want to see it. they just want to see um you know they want to see just the um, sign or the sign in or the you know the sign out um the the register form over there they just don't want to see this particular word this particular things over there and it's you know, even though not nice to see it okay so now we are going to use what we call elemental visibility logic to also what to hide those things whenever we what we are not logged in okay so whenever a user is not logged in um all these things should be what should be hidden okay but when the user is what is logged in then this one should be what should be seen okay it should be visible and that is why we're going to use what we call the elemental visibility logic okay now um so what we're going to do is we're going to log out okay so what we're going to do is um, i want to log out to show you what i mean so when i log out right now what we're going to see is we still see part of this one and then we see this one over here okay even though we don't see um the other ones but we still see this ones over here and then what and then this one okay so now i remember the last time i showed you some but a lot of people did not get the concept okay so i want to what i want to go through again and then you know let you guys know how you can be able to what how you can be able to hide this one now this one is not just about crypto it can be you know applied to any particular website that you are what that you are creating okay so um i'm going to what I'm going to sign in again and then i'm going to show you okay how it is done so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to go to the dashboard okay i'm going to go back to the dashboard and then we are going to what we are going to um, use the elemental visibility logic to be able to uh, to be able to assess what we want to do so guys um if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to it okay we over here we create videos about um wordpress and then web design okay digital marketing anything that um you know is trending or any web design skills that you need to know we do it over here okay and that is all what we do so if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to the channel please like this video so that um, this video will get tons and tons of what views to help other people also having the same problem okay so um i remember i also created a video about how to design a custom um you know dashboard or how to design your um um your woocommerce what dashboard okay so you can also use this visibility logic over there okay so for those of you who are having problem with what um you know my dashboard when i um when i um how do you call it when i when i um when i log out i still see all those what things that i did okay you can use this one to, uh, to solve that problem now let's go to um plugins over here and then click on what installed plugins now i'm going to show you the plugin that um, i've already installed it okay so you can see now let's check and see yeah so as you can see this is the plugin it's called visibility logic for elementor okay now i remember on this video i did um quite some some of it but i want you guys to also note it because a lot of people are complaining that um, when they log out they still see it so 
visibility logic for elementor is what is needed okay so now if you don't know what it is just go to add new plugin or add plugin or add new and then we're going to search for the plugin okay so we you search for it visibility logic just search for visibility logic now you're going to see this plugin over here which says what visibility logic for elementor okay so make sure that you click on install now and then when it is installed click on what activate to what to activate the word the plugin okay so that is it now now that it is what installed okay we're going to go to the page that we want to what we want to hide some of the things from so what we're going to do is we're going to go to all pages over here and then we're going to go to click on all pages and then we will what we go to the my account page okay so this is the page my account page we're going to edit it to what elementor so i'm going to open it in a new tab to edit it to what elementor okay guys so um this is what this is, um you know um you're not seeing this one because this particularly was created for um the responsive mode that is the mobile side okay so if i go to responsive mode over here and then i click on this one okay you're gonna see this one but you're not gonna see this one okay so this one is what you're gonna see and then if i click on here also um you definitely won't see this ones but you're gonna see what this one's over here okay and because this is particularly created for what for the responsive mode so if i close on this one you're gonna see only this one's over here okay and that is basically um what we're gonna um, you know deal with right now so now what we're going to do is um i'm going to go over here and then i'll show you how you can use the visibility logic to uh, to hide some of the things now as you can see you can see this eyes over here okay so this um, purple eyes over here okay you can see it because we have what used it on these ones okay now to use it on um you know you cannot use it on this whole what um how do you call it um column over here because um it wouldn't work so if i go over here and i i wouldn't see that visibility logic over here but i can hide this particular what this particular um you know um widget okay so we can use the widget tool to hide so as you can see at the moment i clicked over here what do i see i see what stacks visibility over here okay so i can click over here and then i will what enable it okay now if i enable it it says what show or hide hide action okay so now i want to what hide action or i want to what show let's say i want to show action okay so if i say i want to show now conditional type is what is all okay so now if i come over here i can see this one which says what user role okay so when i click on it I can enable what user role over here and then I can what I can you know I can show it to what all logged in what users okay so logged in what users okay and that is it so I show it to what logged in users or if you say what hide you're gonna hide it to what maybe logged in or logged out to what users okay so that is it so now i have what so now you can decide to use browser type okay or um, you know the date time or even what user uh, meta okay to uh, to um, you know either hide or show it okay so depending on what you want is what you do so basically this is what i want and this is what i want to do so let's say i want to repeat all on this one so i'll go click over here okay go to stacks visibility and then enable it and then i want to show it and then i'll come to user role okay and then i'll enable user role and then i'll see what logged in what users okay i'll do the same thing to this one over here i'll come over here and then i'll enable it and then i say i want to show it okay and then i'll come to what um, user role enable it and then i also what um you know logged enable it for what logged in what users okay i'll show it to logged in users the same way i'll do to this one and then um you know i'll go to what 
the stacks visibility i will enable it i'll come to what um, you know show and then i'll come to user role and then enable it and then choose what um, logged in with users okay i'll do the same thing for the last one over here and then i'll come to what stacks visibility enable it show and then i'll come to what user role enable it and then i want to what um show it what logged in users okay so now i'm done with this one now if i come over here um i can also do same to what to this particular what this particular one i'll go to what the stacks over here enable visibility enable it i want to show it what only um logged in users so i also show um enable user role and then i'll come over here and then what sh show it to what only logged in user now after that all what i want to do is what just click on what um you know update so now if i go over here okay and then let's say i want to what i want to log out yes i want to log out so now guys as you can see you cannot see what um anything again all you see with what is the logged um in and then sign up what form okay and that is it now these ones are there because of what the um you know um how do you call it the stroke and the the outline that we gave what we gave the what the column okay but if you did not give it any column you're not going to see these things over there okay and that is it so this is how you can be able to what, use what um you know elementor visibility logic okay so visibility logic for what for elementor you can use it to what, to hide or show it for both logged in and what logged out with users so i hope this video um help you to able to what, to solve that problem that you would that you need okay so thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye